Hey traders, it's the Crypto Cowboy. Welcome to Elliott Wave Cafe. We'll do another edition here of uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum technical analysis. Uh, see where we've been this week, where we think we're going and um, what's going on in the markets. Um, let's begin. We'll take a look at Bitcoin first. So so what do you guys think? Uh, is this second wave complete? Are we ready to rally and uh, start this third wave advance? That would be something something interesting to see. And we starting to, to get signs in here that this is uh, extremely probable. Um, and this pink count interpretation, I'm looking at it as having a third wave completion here. Um, you know, back in December 2017, we've done a fourth wave correction. And again, you know, I've been through this couple of times, but if you're new to the channel, you know, this is kind of my longer term count. Uh, we're looking for a fifth wave advance here that can take us, you know, all the way up here towards $50,000 in Bitcoin, maybe even higher. All right, so um, wave one is done. We completed wave two and we're starting to work this larger third wave advance. And um, we've been in a period of consolidation, you know, for the month of May and June, you know, a little bit half of July and this kind of sideways move on here. And it's, we're starting to get signs that we're breaking out of here. So um, just taking a look at this, I'm going to break, uh, I'm going to start moving from one week here. Let's go to a two day chart and see where we are. So you can kind of, you know, see our one, two interpretation, and I'm going to uh, bring back my counts and see what they tell us. So um, what we have now is we're looking for the completion of this first wave one. Uh, we've played a little bit um, thinking for a while that this wave one could actually be down into this high, and then we were looking for a larger correction. But with the breakup that happened here of the past few days, um, there is a big chance that this wave one is not completed yet and the markets are trying to finish it off. So just kind of diving in from this intermediate wave count uh, from the intermediate uh, number, uh, kind of going uh, here, you can see that we're starting to split this as a one, two, and then a completed third wave up into these highs, you know, come back into this minor degree fourth, which is completed in some form of a triangle. And now we're doing a larger, advance here and we're looking for this fifth wave to finish all right targets for me for this wave um, are anywhere between eleven thousand and twelve thousand dollars maybe even a little bit higher but i'll take you to smaller time frame counts this way you can see where we have some of the fib projections but we're thinking that once this move up here is complete in this wave one we're going to get a little bit of a deeper correction as part of the wave two now you know, the longer, the higher we go in this fifth wave as part of this wave one, this the second wave correction, you know, uh, it's it's not going to be that deep anymore in terms of price. Probably going to come back to this fourth wave of a lesser degree, maybe to about, you know, 9,000 or 9,500 or, or you know, maybe even slightly lower. But, you know, there's no way of knowing. First of all, we got to complete this pattern. Um, it doesn't mean that we got to get the second wave necessarily in this shape. It could be a very simple, there could be a different formation in here, a little bit of a flat. Um, you know, we can get a zigzag that's not an aggressive. So we'll see what happens once this wave um, one intermediate starts to, to finish off. So let me take you now from, uh, from this wave count. I'm going to take you to my green count where we have a little bit um, of a more of an internal look into the counts and and the, the the labels on here are a little bit different because I'm watching this on a you know more of an intraday basis and and we're talking with with our members into the, 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 the you know the pro trading room about you know the counts and, and the possibility of trades and stuff like that so I'm using this more of, of, of my work chart on here and then on the pink I'm kind of just following the larger larger development on there but um, you know kind of going back to the green you know we're looking at this as a wave one a wave two you know, up in three and then this triangle fourth formation that we're thinking it's completed and we're starting to work our way higher here for the fifth wave. And if I go from a, you know, even to a 12 hour chart, um, you can see that we're looking at this breakout out of a triangle as part of this wave one, which we think it's, you know, possible near completion. Maybe we do one more high to complete this wave one, then we'll get some kind of a pullback in the second wave. We'll do a three, a four and a five to target this larger fifth wave. And I've said it's anywhere between you know, 11,000, 11,500, all the way up here to about 12,000. You can see some fib projections. What I've done is I've done this fifth wave on here versus on, on, on the distance travel between the, the origin of this wave one, travel all the way to this, all the way to the top of this wave three. 
Um, and then you take a FIB multiple of that and you have 38% um, comes in at about 12,900. And then, um, you know, if you take just the distance traveled in this fifth wave compared with this wave one, you know, an original, uh, um, you know, a, a decent target for that would be at about a 61.8 uh, a multiple of this wave one. It's about 13,369. So uh, we're, we're looking for this move to continue higher into those levels. So if I go from a 12 hour down into the three hour chart, uh, we're looking at this as a leading dial in a wave one, down in two, and then you have this larger third. Uh, and now we're doing a little bit of this, you know, fourth wave play on here. Maybe it's a triangle that's still, um, you know, trying to finish things up. So maybe this is an A, B, C, D, and E. I would have to take this wave one, just kind of push it up here, take this wave four, move it over, and then, you know, do a decomposing here for the triangle. Uh, and then you would get something like this, maybe another move lower here in E. And then that would be the end of the fourth wave. One more push up higher in this fifth. And then we'll get some kind of a correction here for the second wave. So this is what we see in Bitcoin, you know, from a longer term perspective to a smaller time frame. And, um, you know, what we think it's going on. I mean, the trigger um, above this 9471, I consider that that it's, it's um, you know, it's very important. I think this kind of starts to confirm an end, uh, you know, to this long triangle consolidation. I think the markets are ready to move up higher. Um, you know, could I be wrong? 100%. This could still be, you know, part of a larger uh, kind of corrective pattern in here. You know, we can sell lower. This could be just a simple, you know, WXY. This could be some kind of a leading diagonal in here from the highs kind of coming all the way down. Then this could be a W, it could be an X. And then you have another maybe an A, B, and then some kind of a C in here to complete this. And then there would be a second wave. This would be a one, and then you sell lower. So, uh, but, you know, as we know, Elliott Wave gives us context and gives us some, um, you know, ways to look at the market in such a way that we can be prepared in case something else is going on. So I always want to be prepared, um, you know, for, for, for being wrong. And, um, you know, as long as I know that this is a possibility until we start taking up these highs, uh, I'm going to look at it as such. And uh, we're going to continue to move our stops. Uh, we, you know, whatever we decide to enter, we make those decisions together in the room. And I will, um, you know, protect, uh, protect the trade. Uh, and then if the market turns, uh, you know, we'll get out of the way or we'll flip and we'll go short if, if, if we need to. But until then, um, you know, I like the structure that's here and, and I'm going to look, I'm going to continue to look to the upside. All right. So that's, uh, that's pretty much the idea on Bitcoin. Now let me switch over to Ethereum and let's take a look a little bit of, I'm not sure if I've, if I've shown you guys, uh, you know, some of my longer term counts in Ethereum, but, um, you know, this is pretty much the main one that I have. And you have another one that's bearish that's looking at this as being, you know, possible just an A, you know, some kind of a B correction and a C, and then we sell lower again. So I have that possibility. But, you know, combining this with Bitcoin and, you know, what's going on in the alt market, I think we're ready to start the new bull market in here. And we're looking at this as having a one, two, three, nice triangle in fourth. Uh, you know, if this is a, um, you know, just a nice zigzag in a second wave, this is a triangle. So, you know, nice, nice alternation as per the guidelines. Then you have a final fifth on here, and this is a second. Some people might argue that I might not have enough data, and this could be possible a third wave instead of a one, and this could be a fourth instead of a two, but it really doesn't matter at this point. You know, the, the premise here that, you know, both of those cons are targeting higher, and we're looking above this 1422 in Ethereum in the near future. It might take, you know, maybe to the end of the year, maybe to the next year, but there's a big chance that this thing can go all the way up here to, you know, 4200. Um, you know, that would be a pretty aggressive target. You're looking at about 261.8 multiple of this wave one. Um, if I'm pulling this lower a little bit, you're looking at 1618. It's at about, um, what is that? It's about uh, 969. And then, you know, equality between the waves coming at about 390. Uh, so we'll see what happens. You know, let's, let's just take it one step at a time. But if it's just going to be a simple ABC coming from here, to the lows and to the highs. So you can see that would be, you know, a simple corrective move. Let's say it's in three waves, something like that. And then we sell lower. Still that target would be about 390. So that's for me at the minimum that Ethereum should move um, to have some kind of a proportion. Uh, if we're starting to break above that and start to go toward this 1618 and 9, that would be a, all the way up here at 969. So that would be a nice, you know, beautiful and more of an impulsive, uh, 
you know, a pattern, and I would then be more inclined to say, yeah, this is a third wave. It's not just a simple C wave um, because it will pass equality, and you know, the, the shape of it will tell us a little bit more. And then, you know, ultra aggressive, it's up towards you know four thousand for the third wave. But you know, let's see what's going on. Uh, the the point is that we're looking, even if it's if it's a third wave, we're looking at this thing to to go up higher because the larger degree. Um, you know, moves uh, move, moves much much higher once we're moving about this 1400 uh, target. Okay, so uh, that's just uh, kind of what I'm seeing in Ethereum. Um, you know, going forward. So now let's kind of go back and let me just see if I can have some of these uh, smaller time frame counts in here and just go to a three day chart and I'm going to start pulling them back up here. So again, you know, just very nice ABC pull back here for the second wave. And just like in Bitcoin, we're looking for this intermediate wave one to be complete here at some point. Uh, and then we should get a pullback. And, and this pullback can come back uh, depending on where this wave count, uh, one will be. We're looking for anywhere between 38% to 61% pullback for a second wave. So now if I go from a three day to a one day, let's see if I have anything on the internal on there. But it would be uh, something like that. Let's see. There you go. So I have a way one of the low and I and I know, you know, my my software here doesn't give me, you know, the lows exactly. So I'm pretty sure Ethereum came a little bit lower. But anyway, um, there would be a wave one, two, one, two, three, nice wave and four here, then a fifth. And now we're doing I think this is a triangle. You can count it both ways, guys. You can count it as a, um, you know, just as a simple, um, let's say just a simple ABC in here. And this is a one, a two. Then you're going for a three, a four, and a five to complete this larger wave, and then we sell off. Or this whole thing here could be just a basic triangle in here, and you would call that a barrier triangle because this would be a wave A, this would be a B, this would be a C, this would be a D, and an E. So you have something like that, you know, and then you break back up higher, and this is just a one, two, three, four, and five, or this is a one, two, three, four, and five, and you know, this wave one moves a little bit higher. So either way, I'm going to show you here in, into some of my smaller time frame counts, you know, what, what are we targeting for Ethereum? But um, once we get this mature progression, I think that there's going to be a, some kind of a second wave in the cards that might be, you know, a little bit deeper. It doesn't necessarily have to happen. This move can continue higher and you can get, you know, an extended third wave. Maybe this whole thing is a flat and we're getting some kind of a second wave down into this area. I doubt it, but yeah, let's see what happens. Uh, let's go to a uh, smaller time frame here uh, on a six hour. So this is more of the blue count of a working kind of chart where we're looking at the same thing, right? One, two, three, this triangle up here in the fourth wave, and then we're looking for some targets. And I told the members in the room this morning that uh, at the minimum, we should get this 310. We're going to take out these highs up here, uh, which are very close to at about 280. So we're looking at about 310 on distance travel in this fifth wave versus this wave one. And then you would have the next obvious target is wave five versus one plus three at about 340, followed by 100% wave five equal with wave one at about 373. So these are very nice, um, you know, targets for Ethereum to start to complete. And then we'll start to look. I mean, the RSI is pretty high up here. We're getting, I think it's about 80 right now or 81. Uh, we might get some divergences on here and we can possibly pull back. But in terms of, um, in terms of Elliott wave structure, um, this can very simple be done and we can sell lower, all right, because we have met uh, the characteristics of the fifth wave. We have taken up the top of the third wave. We have no truncation and this can terminate at any point it really wants to. It doesn't necessarily have to go up into those targets. So um, it's hard to long Ethereum at these levels. We're very close to these to these highs on here. Um, you know, we're going to get a mature progression. Um, there might be a second wave, and if it happens in three waves and you get some kind of a decline back to retest of this area, you know, then you look for another third, a fourth, and a fifth, and maybe that's the end of the fifth wave. But it remains to be seen next week how we're, if we're, if, if Ethereum has a little bit of power to correct lower and give another opportunity for longs and then go up here and target some of these areas. All right, so um, that's all I got for today. I hope this is helpful, guys. If you love the content or if you like it even, uh, you know, give me some thumbs up, um, leave any comments you have below, subscribe to the channel, you know the drill, hit the notification bell, come and visit us into the room, we got a, you know, a pretty, uh, uh, you know, affordable trial up there, 
Um, and, uh, you know, you'll see our daily videos and charts and commentaries. We have a nice chat room in the Telegram channel. Uh, I present videos like this every single day on the markets and, and we talk and we run to scenarios and we take trades. Actually, we have a long in the XRP right now. So, um, you know, it's, um, it's, it's a full packed um, week with, with a lot of information. So, again, thanks for watching and I'll see you um, next week. Bye-bye.